I think that's very important to be respectful of its own identity. Don't betray in a way what you are, don't betray what, what are the, the principles who are at the base of what you're doing. The personal story of this family is rooted in this small town of the Emilian province uh, and the company they founded 70 years ago is rooted here and also the art collection. The collection is located in the historical headquarters of the Max Mara Fashion House and it's a beautiful building from 1957. Specifically conceived to host the first original venue for the company and many of its main features were maintained during the renovation. So this history of art passion that go through the generations and decades is the 50s, since the first uh, purchases uh, in the contemporary art of Achille Maramotti are very well represented in this building. And this is also part of this double nature of the Collezione Maramotti, both local and international. For example, in the collection there are more or less 60% of artists who are not Italian, and we collaborate both with local institutions such as uh, the Theatres Foundation with which we organize beautiful site-specific performances here, but with international choreographers such as Dimitris Papayoano and Wayne McGregor, but also we have uh, constant uh, relationships with international subjects. Uh, the first one is maybe the Whitechapel Gallery because it's really a constant cooperation for the Max Mara Prize for Women. I think it's a very special one because it's dedicated only to women artists and based in the UK and it really gives them the chance to spend six months in Italy to experience a bespoken residency and then to have a personal show at the Whitechapel Gallery and then at the Collezione Maramotti. The winner of the current edition, which is uh, the eighth edition, is Emma Talbot. One of her step uh, is in Reggio Emilia because she wants to explore many textile techniques. Her tutor here is the Modateca de Anna, which is uh, a great uh, institution about uh, fashion, but also really about techniques and production. So she's really researching and we try to accompany the artists uh, in this discovery. Both our 2019 Ryang Archive exhibition and the current showcase are intended as forms of activation of the archive. I mean, we have a sort of archipelago of photographs and documents, videos, artist books, leaflets and showcase consists in a series of display cabinets that we decided to install in the galleries of the permanent exhibition and put some lights on some of the works you can find on the walls. So thanks to Achille Maramotti and thanks to Mario Diacono, we have their funds, their historical funds here. So we acknowledge the immense value of these funds and we decided after 10 years of opening of the collection to also give an insight of all the processes, all the activities, all the exhibitions we did. We decided to present 10 solo shows in the permanent collection, so kind of giving a, a permanent state to something which was born to be temporary. We started from Enoch Peretz, a project from 2018, to get until two years ago with Margherita Moscardini project. So it's really to share and to give evidence to the fact that the collection is still a work in progress, that we're inviting artists to produce new things, new projects for us. So it's really the idea of an archive of the present is very strong here.